Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, this is my follow-up video uh, for my uh, conical fermenter. I put a jacket around the conical fermenter here, if you see. So this is like a cheap discharge tube that you get in uh, Home Depot. So it's about like uh, 20 bucks for like um, 25 feet. So you just wrap it around uh, the conical fermenter here. And then um, I have a temperature controller here. If you see, that's that. It's, it is actually going into a thermo well. It's actually sensing the temperature here. So if uh, the temperature falls or rises, it's going to actually switch on the pump here. There's a pump with some uh, uh, windshield liquid so that it doesn't freeze in the winter. Uh, it's also actually getting heated up by this, uh, you know, there's aquarium water heater. So that's keeping this at 85 Fahrenheit. So if the the temperature falls below, uh, so right now I set my target to 68. So if it falls below 68, it's going to switch on the pump. The pump is going to circulate the hot water around the, uh, you know, the fermenter. So it's like a cheap setup, so which you can do less than like 100 bucks. So usually if you have to get like a jacket fermenter, so it'll be like double the cost of the fermenter. So this is one way to do it, right? So there are these um, outlet pipes, I think like toilet flanges or something that I got in Home Depot. So you just hook up the wire here, I mean the pipe to the to the pump. So it goes all the way up here, if it lifts the water here and it just circulates the water around this pipe. So that's all I did. So it comes out from here and then flows back into this, uh, this tub. Okay, so we see the light is on, the aquarium water heater. So it's actually uh, warming up this liquid to 85 Fahrenheit. So it's actually doing a good job. So I've set it to 68. So the temperature, current temperature is 67.5. So if you see my uh, fermentation already started, just started bubbling. Um, maybe. Okay, I just saw a few bubbles a little bit ago. Okay, so that's all I got for this video. And I also put some wheels uh, beneath the conical so that I can move it around. It's like a 12.5 gallon fermenter from stout tanks. Yep, so see you next time. Thank you.